What's up guys, it's Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge and today I'm going to teach you the ways of the charging system. So to become a charging system Jedi, first you must learn the basics. First up is our rotor and this is a whole bunch of magnets and this spins on the end of the crankshaft producing a magnetic field. Next up, this is our stator. So this is a whole bunch of copper windings and the rotor spins around the outside with the magnets and it induces a voltage in the copper windings which that voltage is an alternating voltage which looks like this. And next up is our regulator. Now this takes the alternating voltage produced by the stator, which is this here, and turns it into DC voltage, which is super usable. And last but certainly not least is our battery, and we use this to store the DC voltage for use at a later date, like when you hit the starter button. Next up, we're gonna to need to find the battery. So under the seat, it could be. So the first step in testing, we're gonna take our multimeter with our two prongs, have it on the DC voltage setting, and we're gonna check the voltage in our battery. So it's at 12.61 volts, and that is good. Now we're going to start it, and we're gonna see how low this drops while it is cranking. So that was 10.8, which is good. This battery is super good there's no issue with that so now we're going to start the bike and we're going to hold it at about 5000 rpm now unfortunately for me that voltage is not enough the manufacturer says for this bike should be between 13 and a half and 15 volts at 5000 rpm and it was under 13.5 volts so we're going to have to uh, delve deeper so now I'm going to whip the bodywork off and find the next components to test. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm going to make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up and down. First thing we're going to check is our stator. So this here is our wiring from our stator. So let's get that unplugged and get our multimeter in there. Right, so I've got a multimeter set on resistance or like checking for a closed circuit. Got that connected to the negative in the battery and we're going to check each pin in this plug coming from the stator and make sure that none of them are going to earth and all of them are good there's no continuity next we're going to test our stator's output and alternating voltage so we want it on voltage on the squiggly line now we're going to put our two prongs across two terminals to check the alternating voltage hold them there now we've got to check it at 5,000 RPM, same as before. Lost to the dark side, pole three is. Now that one pole that's not charging will most likely look like this, you see how this one here and this one here are burnt, and this output wire there is burnt. So this stator here would be the exact same condition as the one in the bike. Now, if you do all these tests on your bike, and A, it's charging alternating voltage correctly, it's not going to earth, and it's got good continuity, then your stator is good as gold, but it means either you've got a bad connection, a bad wire somewhere in your charging circuit, or your regulator, which is the most likely cause, needs to be replaced. And this bike here, with the system how it is, with two poles charging, is not ideal because that means the regulator is working overtime, it's going to cook itself. And this one, the previous owner has already replaced the regulator, and I just had to replace the battery. So it means the charging system is not working efficiently, it needs 100% charging voltage. So pretty much I'm going to have to rewind the stator or fit a new one. Now I hope you learned something, and if you love motorcycles, consider slapping that subscribe button. And otherwise, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you next time.